Welcome to another episode of Enter Filmmaker. My name is Shmuley Hoffman. Enter Filmmaker is the place where I share with you my career hacks, business experiments. I basically built this platform to share my findings and how to build basically a seven figure business. Not that I'm there yet, but that is my lofty long-term goal. The way how I try to make that happen is to experiment and optimize every little bit in my business approach to become a better and smarter business person and in the end, a better filmmaker. Can't pay the bills, don't have enough projects to feed your family or want to find out how to get a Zaftige race at the end of the year. This is the place where I share my experiments and findings with you. In today's episode, I want to go over how you can save shipping fees when you shop with Amazon. I'm sure you too buy a lot of equipment for your business, right? Video and film production is very, very gear heavy. A lot of the best deals I actually find on Amazon. That's why I pay the 99 yearly fee on Amazon Prime that affords me, you know, two day or sometimes one day shipping. I also like that Prime members are just treated much more generous than the rest of the world. Today, I want to address how you can get free return shipping as well. It is not so obvious as you might think. See, I buy tons of stuff for tens of thousands of dollars per year. In order to not get hit every single time by the return shipping, I want to show you this trick that gets you free shipping every single time on every item. Again, the prerequisite is that it works only with Amazon Prime. Bumper. Okay, so we are back in our Amazon account. So you go to your orders and let's say I want to return this book here. Okay, let's go. So choose a reason. Let's say I bought it by mistake. Okay, good. Then you continue. Original payment. So a UPS drop off cost you four ninety eight to um, you know return it. So you know that's not fair. Let's say okay, this is a book, but let's say this item is broken, right? I don't want to be hit with five dollars if that was the fault of the item or you know the the one who sold it. So you do the following. Let's go back. You go to your orders and return or replace an item. And then instead of choosing any of those, what you do is you choose item defective or doesn't work. Then you have to write in here was ripped or whatever, you know, was damaged. You hit continue, original payment, continue, and voila, this changed to zero for your return shipping. But this only works if you return something within the 30 day return window. So this would not obviously work um, if you return something outside of the 30 day return window. But it's a very nice and uh, neat trick in order to save some money on this too. But you know, I suggest that you are honest, you know, if you just want to send it back because you've found it somewhere cheaper, you know, it's an ethical thing, you know, whether you want to do it this way or not. Um, it works on every item and they're not checking it, but, um, you know, it's really up to you. But here it is and you have a trick or something where you can save yourself actually the return shipping. Okay, that's it for today. I hope this will help you to save some money when you buy gear and you know try out the gear or if you get you know um, screwed by a manufacturer. If you like these type of hacks, subscribe below above or somewhere on the side for my VIP stuff. I totally get it about spam and I'll make sure that everything I send to you will be relevant for your business. This is Shmuley Hoffman and I'll see you in my next episode. Till then, good shooting, bye.